Hello, Bobcats. So today we're going to be learning how to multiply fractions with mixed numbers. Okay, so the first thing we have to remember is that fractions can only be multiplied by other fractions. So you will need to change a mixed number into an improper fraction before you multiply. Okay, so this first example here. I have three and one thirds times three fourths. Again, remember, I have to change it, my mixed number into an improper fraction. So whenever we did this in unit one, uh, remember how we talked about uh, spelling Texas backwards? Okay, when we multiplied our number, our, sorry, when we multiplied our denominator by our whole number and then added that to our numerator. So for example here, in this example, we have three times two equals six, six plus one equals seven. So our numerator was seven, and our denominator stayed the same, which is three. We're gonna do the same thing here. Spell Texas backwards, and then draw my arrow. Three times three, that equals nine, and nine plus one, that equals 10. So my numerator is going to be 10, my denominator stays the same. Time, remember the dot represents multiplication, three fourths. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we divide, we multiply across 10 times three, well that's 30, and three times four, well that's 12. Okay, can I simplify? Yes, I can. They both have a common factor of six. So I can divide them both by six. 30 divided by six gives me five. And 12 divided by 6 gives me 2. Okay, so my improper fraction is 5 halves. I cannot simplify that even, I cannot simplify that more. But what if they're asking me to convert my improper fraction into a mixed number? Well, guys, you just divide. Top goes in, bottom goes out. 2 goes into 5. 2 times, 2 times 2 is 4, 5 minus 4 is 1. Remember, the remainder becomes your numerator, and your denominator stays the same. So, it's either 5 halves or 2 and 1 half. Okay, let's look at the second example. Here I have a mixed number times a mixed number, so I have to convert both of them. Text is backwards, draw my arrow to help me remember the order okay so 8 times 2 is 16 16 plus 3 is 19 and I keep my same denominator times 5 times 1 is 5 5 plus 3 is 8 okay and I multiply 8 times 5 well that gives me 40 what about 19 times 8 well, that I could come down here and I could multiply 19 times 8. 8 times 9 is 72. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 7. That is 15. So 152. Now, can I simplify 152 and 40? Well, yes, because they're both even numbers. So I could simplify them. But eventually I'm going to have to divide, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just divide right now. So top goes in, bottom goes out. So how many times does 40 go into 152? Well, if I multiply 4 times 3, that equals 12. But what about 4 times 4? That's 16. So if I multiply 40 times 4, that would go over... 1 for 52, so I'm going to go with 3. And 4 times, sorry, 3 times 40 would give me 120. So now I subtract 2, 3, and 0. So now, again, this is your numerator, your denominator. So 32 over 40. Okay, so that I can clearly simplify. I know that 32 and 40 have a common factor 
which is 8. So I can simplify 32 and 40 by dividing it by 8. 32 divided by 8 gives me 4, and 4 divided by 8 gives me 5. So my final answer is going to be 3 and 4 fifths. Okay, guys, I know it's a lot of work, but just remember that sometimes they'll ask us to um, convert it back into a mixed number, and you have to divide. Now, I didn't, if I would have divided, sorry, if I would have simplified my improper fraction first and then divided, then I didn't, then I wouldn't have to simplify here. But because I just took the improper fraction as it was and divided it, then that's why I had to simplify it. Okay, let's do that, our third problem. So here I have 5, 6 times 2 and 3 fourths. Well, I have to um, change my mixed number into an improper fraction. Again, text says backwards, TX, with my arrow. So it's going to be 5, 6 times, well, 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 plus 3 is 11, 11 over 4. So now I multiply across 5 times 5, sorry, 5 times 11 equals 55, and 6 times 4 gives me 24. Okay, so now I look at my numbers. I have 55 and a 24. Now, they don't have a common factor. So because they don't have a common factor, I'm going to go ahead and divide them. Top goes in, bottom goes out. All right, so 24 goes into 55 two times. Two times 24 gives me 48. And then I subtract. 55 minus 48, well, that gives me 7. Again, this is your numerator. So 7 over 24. Now, can I simplify 7 and 24? Well, no, again, because they don't have a, um, a common factor. So this... I would just leave as is. My answer is 2 and 7 24ths. Okay, guys, now you are ready to practice on your own. You're going to log into a puzzle and continue solving um, multiplying fractions with mixed numbers, but now with word problems. Good job, guys.